Just want to do this quick rap about some cartoons that I watched as a kid. Hope you guys like it. So once upon a time back in the first grade, I would sit around and watch the television all day. Eyes glued to the screen, no breaks in between. Try to name one. Okay, you beautiful passengers, welcome back to the back of the semi truck. And yes, this makes three days in a row of being puppy cat. Today's episode that we are watching together is being puppy cat episode eight. And I don't know about y'all, but episode seven was a little bit off the wall for me. I'm still trying to figure out some of what was going on. I know, obviously, whoever Toast was came back into old girl's life. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I still, that is still bewildering to me. I don't know what the flip was happening. Um, <laughs> all I know is that's the kind of crazy I like. So, <laughs> wow, I'm still just bewildered by that. Even after watching it a couple more times, I'm still like, what the heck? We had no indication that something like that was going to happen. And then all of a sudden, boom, that's what happens. And this episode, this episode's entitled Dogs. So I have no clue on how Puppy Cat is going to react to that because we still don't even know if Puppy Cat is a puppy or a cat. Um, soft like a cat, but smells like a dog. Um, I still don't know. Um, maybe we'll find out before the end of the series. We've only got episode 8, 9, and 10 left though, so I don't know what more we're going to find out. In between this and the last episode, um, I know there's got to be something more to this series than meets the eye, though, because I'm presuming these last few episodes are really going to just be haywire and off the wall, because Cartoon Hangover, I was tempted last night to actually just watch all, you know, 7, 8, 9, and 10, all back to back to back. But then I thought about it, I was like, you know what, nah, I was wanting to take this as, you know, in a slow pace, granted, I'm watching these day after day now, but that's all because of everything happening in the world. I really don't want to mention the name of what's going on, because we all know what I'm talking about, and if you're watching this at a later date, just, you know, look at the date that this was uploaded, and you'll figure it out pretty fast. That's why I'm uploading so many reactions right now, so yeah. But I was going to watch all four episodes back to, you know, not back to back to back, but all in one sitting because Cartoon Hangover has them all four in one video. And I thought that we were about to get a lot of info dump in these last four episodes. So I'm still going to watch them each individual episode and consume them one at a time though. Um, maybe in the future I might. And I doubt y'all are going to hear it, because I always say that, but airplanes, this is an area that is notorious for airplanes that fly overhead, and they sound like they're flying pretty low tonight. So, yeah. Um, the last thing, though, before I was about to finish that, if I remember, maybe a year from now, I might sit down and watch the whole thing in its entirety all one hour and six minutes in one sitting and maybe do that on a yearly basis i don't know yet but this is the right ear need to put that in three two one and play we all have something good inside dogs okay um okay so we got the landlord kid so clumsy sticky Sticky. I like the kid's I name for the dog. Uh-oh, you got a cold. Come on, Sticky. <laughs> what in the world? Wait, whose house are you in? Because that TV has a bow. Hey, Pretty hey, Patrick. Origami. origami with Pretty Patrick? Carefully make sure the edges line up. Now we'll make the final fold. And it's mashed potato origami. Mashed potato origami? What? Oh! Whoa! Um, 
What's happening here? This is quite the change. I did... What? Who is this? Obviously it's his mom, but still. Um, okay. That adds a new layer. Huh. She was away from home and I know I just missed night. something that flashed across the screen by talking to y'all, but, you know, I'll catch it on the rewatch. Okay, so are we getting her backstory now? An octopus saw the princess's hair that had tumbled into the sea and mistook it for another octopus. Okay. Oh, well, I can see why it did that. Okay, so this was the princess, and it fell in love. Okay. Oh, this is definitely getting copyrighted with the music. So now that you know it's her, are you still in love with her? Even though it ain't an octopus? When it found out it was actually Princess Hare, the octopus offered to help the princess return home. Okay. I'm going to have to listen to this on my own just so I can listen to the lyrics a little more closely. Okay, so this octopus is still in love. That octopus likes hair, I see. Oh! The princess gave the octopus her hair as a thank you gift to keep it company in the empty sea. And for a long time, the octopus felt like he had company carrying around the princess hair. Oh, and then the bow's going to come undone, and then the hair's all going to be gone. Oh, the octopus is now lonely. When the currents untied the princess bundled hair, the octopus tried to gather the strands together, not realizing he tied himself together. Um, what? Each piece of the torn octopus body was met with a strand of the hair. Um, okay. This is where my mom says jellyfish come from. <laughs> wow. Okay. An envelope and everything. And it's not in coins. Hmm. Huh. Check. Um. Rage. Pokemon, are you sick? Deckard could make you a soup. Yeah, or tea. Deckard. I that's his name. No one fits. No, thank you. Hey, you sticky. No, hey, it's the ladybug. What? You know what the ladybug for, puppy cat? I think it you don't like dogs. A neti pot. How about a scarf? A mitten. Two mittens? Uh Wow. Puppy cat? Um sure. What the hell you say? Time to go. let me just I'll be right back. Uh here's my rent. Wow. I don't know who you are. Come on, puppy cat. Just hang out with him for a while. It's all he wants. No. But. Uh, but. Just look at him. He's sick. Um, I'm in room 101. Usually, my, one of my brothers gives you the money. And his mom's not around. Chew. Nope. <laughs> wow, it's puppy a cold cat. Old puppy cat. So cold, like a monster. In oh, you called him a monster. Pretty Patrick lunchtime hour, though. Pretty Patrick! <laughs> really, Bobby Cat? Me? I've got some fried rice today. Using up some of the leftovers. See you later. 
You trying to make puppy cat with sticky? Oh hey, I've got an extra napkin. Do you want it? No! I wanted hey, to heel. see what he does with the Let's napkin. Go on a date. Move out of the way, you filthy creature. What? Okay, that's better. Muffle screaming. <laughs> Good thing I had that napkin. You've got something on your face. <laughs> yes, he does. Oh, wait. I thought he had Sticky's butt on his face. It's your wedding day. Now you're getting married. Wedding? Um. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, wait. Lazy in Space 2019. Huh. It looks like they got quite a few things done with this lazy in space thing here. I wonder if we'll ever see that. I'm pretty sure it's going to probably come out this year. I'm just going to take a wild guess. But, I do think I know the name of the next episode already. And I believe it is called Wedding. And that means this is the prelude to episode 9 for Wedding. Um... Wow, um, so we started out with Puppy Cat, meeting B, and now we're over here to the landlord's son, who's pretty much the landlord at this point, and seeing that his mom's hooked up to all these machines, and maybe the series is ultimately about him? Um, I don't know. I know the last two episodes are going to obviously tell me a lot about you know what the ultimate goal of this series is because obviously this is not meant to be just some little kitty series this is i mean we got puppy cat in here saying stuff like the hell you say and <laughs> i know i don't normally say stuff like that on reactions but i'm trying to read all of puppy cat stuff you know i gotta repeat what he says he's done said the hell with the hell you say and he in the last episode before that it was either that one or the one before that he was screaming about, my ass, my ass. I was like, what? <laughs> Quit talking this way because I'm trying to read what you say, puppy cat. Stop this. <laughs> and yes, that was, um, I don't normally use that language. I'm just throwing that out there. I know some people don't see that as foul language and stuff like that. But, you know, ultimately it really is. I don't really convey myself as that kind of person. So, and no, it's not, I don't. I don't look down on people who use that language. I mean, once in a while, I slip up and say stuff too. So, you know, if I was to sit there and look down on people, you know what? Y'all know what I mean. I'm not that kind of person that looks down on people for that. I'm the same kind of person. Yeah. Being puppy cat, though. <laughs> That's what we were watching. So let me get off that subject because I'm just going to end up talking myself in 15 different circles. So, yeah, being puppy cat. Um... Yeah, wedding is next, and, um, I don't know what the deal is with Puppy Cat. I don't know what the deal is with this landlord boy. I don't know what the deal is with his mom. Is she the princess? I mean, I don't know what the heck the deal is with much of anything about this series right now. This is kind of a little crazy. Um, <laughs> um, wow, that was really something um we went from an episode just being flipping off the wall barely understanding what the flip is going on with episode seven and then we get all this added layers to the story and whatnot and this is the kind of spots in the show that actually make me fall in love with it because it feels like there's something so much bigger to this series than meets the eye that it's just going to be this heartwarming story in the end. I'm hoping there's something heartwarming about it in the end. I Now I am really intrigued by who is this kid's mom? Why is she in bed? Why is she hooked up to all this stuff? You know, maybe he, maybe she has no significance whatsoever ever and she just has cancer and he, you know, I don't, I, I don't know. Um, 
I'm trying to speculate, but really, I don't have much to speculate off of because this is the first time we're seeing anything like this in this series, and I, I just don't know. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm out of stuff to say because I just don't know. <laughs> I'm going to leave it up to y'all. It's y'all's turn. Hit that like, tickle to subscribe, don't be texting and driving, and as Mr. Rogers always says, And I like you as you are. I did.